everybody, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, there's quite a lot of um, mess around me. <laughs> um, I am going to be tie-dyeing a few of my items with food colouring. I actually have tie-dyed before. Um, I used the Dollar kit. It's a South African brand and it's basically like an art stuff. And it worked out really nicely, but they don't sell it on Take A Lot anymore. So I decided I'm going to put food colouring to the test. And see if you can tie dye with food colouring. Tie dye is very popular at the moment, um, especially like the cute tank tops with like just like one colour or two colour tie dyes. So basically today that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be putting food colouring to the test and see if you actually can get a cute tie dyed item with food colouring and stuff that you have in your house. <laughs> Research. You need to soak your items in vinegar. So I've just got a bucket of water. I've got some white vinegar. I'm just gonna pour in about a fair amount of vinegar. Like about that a little bit more. About that much, because there's quite a lot of water in here. Um I haven't done exact measurements, so it's just gonna be like eyeballing it today, so yeah. So I'm just going to show you the items I have. Really oversized shirt. So I'm just going to chuck the. I'm just going to chuck that in the bucket, and it has to soak for about ten minutes. Apparently, this is just to like make the color come through. Um, you can use soda ash if you have lying around your house. I had a little bit lying around my house, so I did use a little bit. But you don't have to use it. I mean, I mix soda ash and vinegar, so yeah. And then we've got this little vest for my mom. <laughs> she wanted one done as well. So just put that in as well. And I've got this vest I like. Just like also another cute vest. Because you know like those cute vests that they do. And then they do like one colour or two colours. And I think that's really cute. I think I did three vests. So I've got three vests. One for me, my mom and Jamie. So that's pretty cute. Just the same cute vest from Cotton On. Going in. And... We also have some socks, some white socks. I think they'd be really cool just to wear around the house, you know. Not planning on wearing this stuff out unless it turns out really cute. And then last but not least, we have a towel, a white towel that I'm going to be tie-dyeing. Um, this is not going to fit in the bucket, so we'll do that one last. So yeah, let's just wait for 10 minutes for this stuff to soak. And then while we're waiting, we can mix all the dyes together. So I'm quite excited. I didn't have any bottles because we don't really use plastic bottles we just use reusable ones so i've just got this this cup that i'm going to mix it in and then i'm just going to like sprinkle it over the clothes i don't know we're just going to see when we get there so this is blue i'm going to make them quite vibrant this is a gel food coloring so hopefully it's going to mix ah mix is it oh, okay it is mixing okay so i'm just going to make this like really dark this is a sky blue so we're just going to mix quite a lot in there so that they do come out quite vibrant. So that should be enough. Don't want to overdo it, you know. I don't want to use all my food colouring. We have <laughs> the green. Oh, I haven't used this one yet. It's just like normal colours. That one is sky blue, but it's got quite dark. Look at that. So I've got pink here. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> Real lover for pink. And red. Oh, I love those colors. I'm gonna make sure the pink is vibrant because it's like, why not? Okay, so that's really cute. Okay, so I've mixed everything now and I'm gonna get my items out of the bucket. Um, I'm gonna have to wring them out. Okay, so got my shirt and you have to make sure that it's not that wet. So yeah, got it. And I'm going to do all of these in spiral because I prefer this spiral. I just think it's cute. Now how to do spiral and you pretty much just grab the middle and you just like go like that go like that i usually use a fork if you got like a heavier product use a fork i'm gonna go do it somewhere else and then i'll get back to you when i've spiraled it in an elastic band okay, so i just spiraled it somewhere else and it's pretty good so now comes the tricky part that i'm really nervous for so i'm gonna do this one I'm going to do blue and pink, yeah. So, here's my pink one. I'm just going to dupe it on the shirt. I'm going to try and get as 
least miss as possible. I don't know if this is going to work out. I think I'm going to add a little bit more food colouring. Yeah, I'm going to have to. If I want it to look nice, I'm going to have to add more pink. I'm really hoping this is going to work, to be honest. I think it's going to be quite faint. So I'm just putting some more food colouring. I'm going to do half-half because I saw somebody do it and then it goes into like a blue pink spiral so yeah it's gonna do that pink side is done and now i'm gonna do the other side blue i'm really hoping it's gonna work because like ugh, the colors just seem a bit faint and i'm stressing well i'm not stressing but like obviously i want to get some good content and if it doesn't work out then like then what's the point of posting the video so yeah okay so now we put the blue oh that's oh i got purple on the other side well, it's fine. It's going to spiral and mix anyway. So, like, it's cool, Leo. Done pretty good job of, like, trying not to... Oh, I just jinxed myself. I know it's... I just jinxed it. Okay. So, this is the shirt. What is it? Yeah, I've got a lot of leakage. You can see there's, like, a whole puddle here. And I'm starting to stress. Because I don't want it to get on the table. So, I'm going to go get a plastic bag. Mommy, please rebring bring me a plastic bag. So, first one is done. It was pretty stressful because... Don't want it to leak onto the table at all. I'm going to tie dye all of these and I will show you the end product all of them. I don't want this video to be so long of you seeing me tie dyeing stuff. So yeah, I will get back to you when everything is tie dyed. Okay, so um, I'm actually done tie dyeing everything and it is a mess here. But um, I got some on the table, turns out it doesn't stain so that's all good. So I'm going to show you all the stuff that I've tie dyed. So I've got this one. Just put them in plastic bags because like why not? Got oh, so I've got an all blue one in like a different like a scrunch stuff <sighs> in the scrunch style, which is kind of cute, like that one. And that one is we're all gonna share them. My mom, my sister, and I got a all yellow one with some blue on it now, which is great. This one's also just yellow, my mom likes yellow, so that's gonna be cute. I think this one's really cute as well, so yeah, pretty excited to see. I think that'll be pretty cute and all of that, so yeah. Those are all the things I've tie dyed today, and I'm not gonna do the towel because I'm just. Maybe I'll do it later, but right now with all this mess, I don't wanna do it. I wasn't planning on doing the um, towel, but here it is literally used all the leftover dye and it looks pretty cool but like who knows um so yeah we're just gonna wait eight hours and i'll see you when we are like unpackaging it whatever um yeah okay cool bye good morning everybody it is now the next day um what is that good morning everybody it is the next day and i have I actually waited eight hours, it's been more than eight hours, I left it overnight. Um, excuse this jersey, it's an old jersey, so I'm just going to be doing all this in it. So, <laughs> let's get started with the first item. So let's do the yellow one. So this is the yellow one. Plain tie-dye, you guys haven't seen any of it. And I'm just going to be soaking it with water, you know how they do that. You have to soak it to get all the dye out of it. So yeah, let me, let me just roll up these sleeves because I know this is going to end in a mess. So I'm just soaking it. You have to soak it till it's like a different, like the water comes out clear. Seems like the dye is staying in, to be honest. I was really thinking that it was going to go like a lot paler than this, but I still got to put it in the washing machine after this. So yeah literally staying in pretty nice actually okay so we're done soaking the yellow one
unfortunately, as you can see, most of um the <laughs> they lost their color, especially this one, like the blue completely got it. I don't know how that happened, but like I managed to get blue on this one, but I never managed to get blue on this one, so that's a bit skeptical. I did know that um I made the dye stronger by adding more food coloring in before because this was the first one I did, and then I made the dye stronger so possibly that's the reason why so maybe when you are doing this if you do want to do it remember to put a lot of food coloring in so that you do get the results and i think also the mistake i made is i put soap in the washing machine so obviously soap tries to remove stains so that's possibly the reason why this looks like this but i still think they turned out really cute especially this blue one i love the blue one and i love the pink one especially to go out like they really in fashion now so I love those and plus it was super affordable find some white t-shirts in your house and then like dye them why not the towel is also like super cute like like even though all the colors also faded like you saw it was rainbow it's also super cute so like I'm really happy with how it turned out even though I lost some of the color I do like the kind of pastel vibe so yeah so do you want to add that the yellow one unfortunately there was no color on it so i didn't even show it but yeah still think this product is a must do especially if like you're bored and you're looking for something to do so just do it i mean you've got nothing to lose if you do try these out um please remember to tag me on instagram and show me what you've created because i really would love to see um my instagram is down in the description or you can find it somewhere else <laughs> so unfortunately you have reached the end of the video but if you did like this video please make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that like button and carry on watching my videos because it really does help my channel out um i hope you enjoyed this video and yeah bye